Hello everybody, and welcome back to, uh, more Operation Neptune. Um, I realized when I loaded it back up, oh gosh, ugly fish, that, um, Uh, apparently when I stopped the recording last time, it... It, uh, didn't let me, uh, I had to restart that level. Let's go this way. Okay, I gotta fight the current, apparently because it's just going to push me back up. Alrighty then. Oop, here we go. Input the total mass of the capsule piece to the nearest ten thousandth. Nearest thousandth, okay. Now well, that's, uh, 4.178. Oh, what am I doing? That's dumb. 4178.1 and that hundredths, and that's thousandths, so we round up. There we go. There's a scary thing. It's hard to react to those. Lots of ugly fish down here, you know? Their patterns are hard to follow sometimes. Oh, there we go. Damage alert! Collision with ocean floor has cracked the window. Input the length of the crack to the nearest millimeter. One, two, three, four millimeters. Window will be placed at right next supply station. All right, so, oh, oh boy. Om nom, it's a clam. Thank you, oh, never mind. Here we go, gotta go through each of these. What's in this level up here? Is there anything up here? Nope, nothing. So this is all just a word, one weird way to get around. gallon tank, water tank, Ooh, pop. no fresh water in next supply station, input number of days current water will supply last if used at rate of 48 cups a day. I don't fucking know how many cups is in a gallon. Does it say anywhere on here? No, no, it doesn't say anything. Oops. No, nope, alright, well, okay, I'll go look up how many cups in a gallon. This is a great YouTube right here. How many cups in a gallon? 16 cups in a gallon. Well, okay, we got 15 gallons, and then we'll multiply that by 16 cups. That's how many cups we have. And then uh, we'll divide that by 48 cups per day. Five days. Our supply adequate to proceed beyond next supply station. Oh, gee, thanks, guys. Why did you just put water in the supply station? How come I gotta do everything myself here? Ow. There we go. Access code. Oh, what the heck? That's gotta be like... So, it's gotta be like, negative... four... multiplied by... negative three... equals twelve... and then... multiplied by... negative three again... negative thirty-six... and multiplied by... negative three again... 108, 
and then finally we multiply that by negative 3, we'll get negative 324. There we go. We have landed on planet Delta Pi. In a few days, we hope to set up an observatory for viewing remote galaxies. The surface of Delta Pi is covered with volcanoes and lakes of lava. It's like Earth four billion years ago. We just gotta get past this guy. There we go. Three times thirds equals two. And then we have six times one half, that's three. So we gotta wait a well while for it to wait as it rotates all the way around. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking I don't really know why I like this game so much. I mean, I like the math and I like I like the way the math puzzles are presented, with like those the control panels and the um... Your progress is good, there's no time to waste. The toxic chemicals released by the space capsule threaten the world's sea life. Good next luck in the next sector. And I like the, the control panels and the monitors and, and the way things are presented like that. And the music, obviously. I forgot how good the music is until I started playing it again. There you go, fuck you. Oh. Gotta get away from here. All right. Check oil supply. Number of gallons of oil left. Now well, let's see. We've got five, ten. So thirty-two times point two. Six point four. Yeah. There we go. Cause like it's certainly not the controls. Cause playing this now, controls are like. Janky as hell. The most janky. Although hitting a nice shot does feel pretty good. But it takes a few times to do it. Oh, get back here. Fuck. Port search progress. It put portion of total grid map that has already been searched. So 16, 9 divided by 16. It's uh, 0.5625. Oh, I'm stupid. 16. No? Wait, no. What am I? Yeah, we've searched 9 sixteenths. Uh, okay, I guess. they. I was concerned about sig figs. And they, like, they just didn't care about sig figs. Whoa, fuck you. Got no Barracuda here. Oh, oh gosh. We just get eaten by everything. Alright, now we got a four section area. Alright. No, we got more than that. Alright, increase amount of ballast by 65 pounds to change sub's descent. Input any combination of numbers whose sum is 65. Well, I'm gonna make that easy on me. Let's just see if we go back up. What happens if we go down this way? Oh, here's our data capsule. 36912, that's... No, negative uh, 15. Yeah. Dr. Stevens is observing the light forms while the rest of us proceed with our original mission. We have declared a state of readiness so we can evacuate camp quickly and return to Station Argos if the life forms threaten us. I'm pretty sure I'll have to go back. Yep, I will. Let's go ahead and... Ow. Yep. I popped. Let's see if I can, uh... Nope. Never mind. I thought maybe the, uh, dolphin would be around here somewhere, but he's all the way up there. Alright, where's this guy going? The fish's, like, patterns are really hard to get. 
Like you could observe it forever and not have an idea of what they're doing. Um, okay. 90, huh? So if we do 64, we have this at is 80, 90. I did love all these like super solvers games though. Pop. Cause I know you're gonna chase me. Um especially like this one and the um Gizmos and Gadgets. Gizmos and Gadgets was a good one. Um but I mostly played mech MECC that series of games. That was stuff like Museum Madness and um, Trouble Trouble Math, Munchers, um, all those games. Oh, Alright, there we go. Gadget Supply Station must open the lock. Get ready. Here we go. So we got two times one half. That's one. I know at some point they start throwing in like three and four level operations. One half times two thirds. Hey, okay, I'm gonna have to actually do some math on this one. That's three sixths equals one half. All right. No, what am I stupid? One half times two thirds, three, three, oh, it's three fifths. What am I doing? Out of time, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that either. I've got to do it again. You're like, what the fuck? That one was actually hard. I, my, my brain totally went burp. Total brain fart on that one. Alright, let's try that one again. Six. Times. Two thirds. Well, that's a four. Four again, or four times one fourth is one. You have collected a total of five data canisters. The president thanks you, president of the seas. Alright, here we go. Alright. You can already tell this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, fuck you. Gotta pick it up fast enough. Oh, nope, got stuck on a rock. Get out of here. Oh, fuck. This is sort of a track I remember, at least this drum line here. Midi drum line. I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna have enough time to get both. Bark. All right, here we go again. Twelve gallons. No fresh water in next supply station. That's what you said last time. Put number of current days. Current water supply will last if used at rate of 48 cups a day. Uh, well, we got 12 again. 12 times 16 cups, if I remember correctly. Divided by 48, four, four days. Oh, I fucking died. Fortunately, I haven't died so hard that I have to restart completely and get everything again. But I'm getting close to that point. Fuck. 
Oh, ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's not, um... Let's not totally royally fuck it up this time. No, no, dang it. I have such a huge hitbox. No, oh fucking heck. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Woo, oh goody. <laughs> Input subs energy uses of kilojoules for the next two and a half, eight hours if the sub continues at present speed of 20 miles per hour. Well. That would be 8. Speed miles per hour, 20. We use up 8 per hour. And so, 8 times... What the heck is 1 eighth in a fraction? 8 times 2, anyway, equals 16, obviously. Um, isn't it? 8 times 1 8 equals 1. Is that 17? Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, get out of there. Alright, oh. He's gonna chase me. Oh boy. Nope. I'm gonna get eated. Ship's log sub delayed due to a change in course. Distance to next supply station is 33 miles. Speed is 11 miles per hour. Present time is 1300. Input expected arrival time. Well, that'd be well. We'll go. We'll get there in three hours. So it'll be 1600. This thing. All right. So we have to get the thing. got stuck on the rock again. Well, we got that at least. Probably have to redo this level. Oh! Clutch. Alright. 6, 10, 15, 21. Well, 10 minus 6 equals 4. 15 minus 10 equals 5. 21 minus 15 equals 6, and 21 plus 7 equals 28. Inexplicable, ph inexplicable phenomenon. We have detected a strong magnetic force near the base of a volcano. The source of the mag magnetic force is unknown. At certain times, it becomes more powerful than the magnetic field of Earth. Oh, I think expert mode and novice mode had different different logs, so they encourage you to play multiple times. Which, if that's true, that's a pretty cool idea. Alright, point three. Plus, point four is point seven, or seventy percent. Point three plus... Point one is point four or forty percent. I'll be honest, talking is helping this a lot, so I'm just gonna keep talking. As long as I'm on topic, it'll keep going. Well done, you completed the second zone. You have three zones to go. Keep up the good work. Out. Alright. So we're gonna make actually sure that we move on to the next sector so that I can get my progress recorded so I don't have to do it again because we're ending right here. Welcome to Limestone Ridge. Um, thanks for watching. This has been pretty fun. I've been enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying it as well, watching me cuss at like six-year-old, or not six-year-old, but like six, seventh grade math problems, um, and also janky controls. Um, but I hope you're having fun, because I sure am. I might just keep doing this. More super solvers, maybe some... Um, 
I know I say all this, make these promises, but you know I'm not gonna do shit. <laughs> but maybe like some super solvers, maybe some Museum Madness from Mech. Some Museum Madness, that was a great game. One that I reference a lot, actually. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.